So in this short video, we're going to talk about the six main factors that affect creep. So you can see them here. The first is uh, stress intensity. So uh, the stress intensity is going to affect how fast the creep develops. So if our stress in the concrete, our sustained stress is less than about 40% of the ultimate stress, then our creep is going to be pro proportional. to the stress. If our stress is between 40 and 80 percent, so we'll just say uh, greater than 40 percent here, our creep is not going to be proportional to the stress. So our, our, our creep is going to increase at a faster rate than the stress. If on the other hand our creep is greater than 80 percent, of our ultimate stress, our structure is going to creep to failure. So the age at loadings also is going to affect early age creep, but it won't affect our later age creep. So we can see here if we have uh, time on the x-axis and our creep strain on the y. If we apply a creep at a, an earlier age, it's going to develop at some rate. If we apply a creep at a later age, it'll also develop, maybe a little slower at the start, but then they're, they're, they will eventually get to about the same uh, ultimate strain. So that's not going to be a huge factor. Uh, in terms of final creep. Uh, the coarse aggregate is going to have it, a very large contribution. So if we have a higher, a larger amount of coarse aggregate or a stiffer coarse aggregate, this is going to contribute and uh, decrease our creep. Our strength is also going to have a large effect, and uh, we know that strength is related to the water-cement ratio. So if we have an increased strength, this is going to decrease our creep. The ambient relative humidity is going to affect our drying creep as a, a lower, uh, or I guess a, we'll say a higher relative humidity is going to discourage water from leaving the, the beam or the specimen. So this is going to decrease our drying creep, and thus our, our, our overall creep. And then finally, uh, multi-axial axial loading. So if we have a specimen that's loaded in multiple axes, this is going to result in less creep as well.